Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan at the Yokohama Tsuri here at the Yokohama Arena. I'm Russell Guru and Nicholas Pettis. So this is the, the fourth uh, fight uh, in the quarterfinals of the K1 Super Featherweight World Championship Tournament. Uh, we have Tomoya Yokoyama uh, versus uh, Stauros Exocostidis from Greece. Yeah, this is going to be a great fight. Actually, uh, Stauros has fought uh, Takeru the yes. full three rounds and lost by the Shizun a couple of years ago. Almost, yeah, all, all three rounds. Yeah, it was so this fight. So this is also his first time to be back, I probably mm. I think, since that fight. So yep. he left a big impression the first time. Let's see what he does today. Yokohama coming out of the crash background. Uh, people have thought it said to be that he would be the champion, but uh, he's fighting here today instead of uh, Shihiro Nakajima. Uh, he looks physically really strong. Oh. Stolos, a little older than uh, Yokoyama at age 35, but uh, 33 wins and 12 knockouts from Stolos. Mm, really good nice. slow starter here. Not the, like that. we saw in the former fight with uh, Asahisa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh boy, yeah. Uh, these guys are really sussing each other out. Oh, yes. nice. But, uh, Yokoyama's fairly tall for this weight class. Yep. His body looks really well balanced out, actually. Very athletic. Nice kicking. Wee. That's a sneaky kick to try. Really opening up for his guard there also. Dangerous. Oh, that was a good low kick. I like it. You don't see that left leg low kick often, but he's also fighting South Paul. Nice build. Stolo says, um, but they're sort of sussing out this round one. Nice. It really is a low kicker. Mm. I kind of feel like there's a bit of karate back there. But I don't know for a fact. There's a big punch. So out of the experience between the two fighters, we've actually got Stavros with more than 40 fights. And um, Yokoyama only at about 15. Mm -hmm. But so far, I mean, we'll, we'll yeah. see. This is only halfway through, well, not even there for round one. Well, you can never, you know, uh, underestimate the young, the young blood. Yeah. But he's only 22, so he's actually hungry to win, for sure. Uh, yeah, Stavros is, looks like he's seen a lot of fights. Yeah. Oh man, that low kick is actually hitting him really cool. Good combination there. It looks like he's got heavy hands. Oh, look at that. That's close. Nice, yeah, no, that's nice kind of, I think that's his style, you know, yeah. coming there. Corner him and then, then unleash. Some heavy punches. Because he's been really calm in the first two minutes. Oh, Louis. Got clipped on the chin there. Yeah. Hasn't phased him yet. Some tickets for round one. Again, beautiful low kick. Oh man! Working on I that told you he's been hitting. Oh, he saw it. He, oh, he knows he's hurt him. He, he knows he's hurt him with that low kick. And uh, that was a dangerous knee and he threw right at the end there too. Right there, just before the yeah. ring. And if if the ring, didn't, you know, if we didn't hit the gong, you know, maybe, maybe something will happen. On the bell, basically. So, um, Yokoyama was kind of doing a lot of what he wanted to do, or, or you know, Whoa. yeah, nice. Oh Man, I've seen people get knocked out kicks like that and just, you know, tip the, the top of your head there. Ah. It doesn't have to hit the chin. And this is where Stavros went in with his... Uh, yeah, his, oh, wow. that was a good combination, but then he got hooked at the end of it with a left hook. Just, um, you already know Yokohama has hurt him on the low kicks so. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I think it took him about five, Six kids, but three of them, yeah. what I remember vividly, like the first one and the second one and the last one, they hit like spot on. You could see some of the expression on his face. Yeah, yeah no, you totally yeah. can tell. Like the body reacts it when it hurts like that. Let's see what like happens. Like I said, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really liking those low kicks. Let's go round two. Yokoyama versus Saurus. He needs to definitely, like, you know, put more pressure on him and not get kicked on that leg. Hey. See? Yokoyama knows where to 
continue. Oh, he goes straight from Loki. He's smart. He's really sneaky. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, he kicks like a karate fighter, actually, so I think he's, he must have had some experience with it. Nice kick there from Stone. Probably switch to kickboxing later on. But man, Stolos, you need to put some pressure on him here. Mm. This is round two, and we want to see what you can do to your opponent. That was a great combination. More again, see how he's trying to just sneak the low again? Oh, again! <laughs> he oh, keeps coming. Man, he's good. Back for seconds on the power. You'll come in. Some more nice punches there. And you see now that he's got the upper hand, so he's not really in a hurry to do anything silly, Yokoyama. Right. So he can just slip back and then wait for his opportunities. You see he's not being like the aggressor here. This is dangerous though. That was a good clip. Oh. Oh, is he still feeling that? Yeah, he is for sure. Man, it's a pretty impressive that he's actually still standing on that leg. Yeah. Aye, there you go. That was beautiful. I mean, here's coaches telling him to not, you know, rush into anything. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice, dangerous hook. Another low kick. Oy, I love the way he mixes up the high kick and everything. Boom. And then he hits the low kick. Beautiful. Combination. Mix it up. And he kicks it when he puts his foot down. You see, the pace of the fight is completely in Yokoyama's hands now. And that leg of Staros, he's got to, he wants to like cover that up. And not get a kick, but Yokoyama's not going to let that happen, obviously. So that low kick. Yeah, and he's just really taking his time here, being, you know, smart about it. Oh yeah, definitely karate. He should have finished with his own kick there. Oh, 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 oh nice. I'll tell you what's mm. really smart from Yokoyama in this mm. round. Okay, he, he, he's, he's yeah. able to fight completely at his own distance and timing and pacing. Okay. He's not overexerting himself. No, no. When he picks his shot, he picks them really well by, by sneaking them into the combinations and then finishing when he puts the. He knows he's waiting for it, then he takes it. Wow. And he's not overexerting himself. That means he's not going to be tired for the fight that comes after this mm. if he wins. Mm. I mean, you never know. You never know. Yeah, I mean, Stardust wants to do something in round three. You know. Obviously, not a kicker or more of a puncher, is he? Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, haven't really seen him kick a lot. No. It's not really, you know, not a combination from that starts mm. with the hands mm. and the feet. Yes, I have seen so, I mean, if he's going to find his room, that would be easy. There's so much pressure on Obama that he gets him up against the ropes and then yeah. really just under. Yeah. Like he did a bit of round one. We'll see if he can bring it the game to Yeah, but the thing is, uh, Yohoyama, he moves really well. <laughs> yeah. So he's not going to get suckered into the corner that easily. Let's see, round three. Smart to start off in the picture. Kind of sets the distance. See, he's gonna sneak that low kick in. Exactly. That's why he's got that. He just pops mm -hmm. that jab up there. Yep. Oh, oh there you go. I made one more. Okay, it didn't quite work that one. Staros knows that the Yokohama is going to do that, go for that leg anyway, so... Exactly. Yeah. He knows it's coming. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be bothering. Mm. Okay. okay. Ooh, that was a nice short hand. He walked right into it. Actually, that's a really dangerous punch. Oh. <laughs> 
だけで。Oh, now you see the Asians there. I like the way Stavros is putting more pressure on him. Yeah, because yeah. that's where he needs to be doing. Yeah, definitely coming in. Boy, if one of those punches actually connect. Oh, big knee. Yeah. Oh, three knees. Oh, good kick. <sighs> Trying to get it. Oh, see that sneaky left hand? Uh, oh, yeah, oh, coming down on the chin he there. He doesn't just. Oh! oh. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew he was kicking that wall. Oh, man. Okay, I didn't see that one coming. Uh, uh, definitive uh, K1 win there from wow. Tomoya Yokoyama. Okay, this is uh, going to be Asahisa's next opponent. Yep. So, coming up as uh, the guy who almost was the champion. Wow. Uh, the crush now. Now we got something working for your camera. Nice, nice game plan. And that was incredible to watch because it's like you're holding your breath for something mm. magical to happen and then it's just out of nowhere. Oh, okay. Look, Look at this. Bam. That one there in the league. Boom. Boom. Wow. Straight to the neck. Such end a there. short kick. It's so sweet what Size he does. Of skull. There's no motion in his upper body. Wait it's for just it. the foot. Whee. Oh, man. Ah. This one, there's no denying. It's tough to see a man go down, but boy, yeah. it's beautiful. It like is tough it. to ah. see someone get knocked out, I agree. And the whole team. And the... Especially a Greek man. Oh, man. I was born in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where the, the pitta stems, like a great a, a Greek I'm man. really wow. sorry for him, but man. Ah, man. That was a fantastic fight from Yokohama. I've actually, I don't remember uh, having seen him fight before, and at his age, you know, Wait, 22. He's that's young great. and good looking? Yeah. Wow. So that I uh, look forward to more of them later fighting as I said, uh, in this um, super featherweight uh, tournament. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Russell Goodall and Nicholas Pettis.